How's it going, everybody? I've got quite a large compilation of Tebatron stuff here for you today. This is uh, all of the extreme tracks, everything from the base game to the DLC and the track packs. But the only one that I was unable to complete out of all the extremes was Baikonur Base. And it was because of the fourth checkpoint. There's a spot where you have to either go underneath or go above these bombs, and the bike is just way too large to get past it, unfortunately. I tried a bunch of stuff. I tried it for about an hour. I tried to go in underneath the actual driving line and try to go, like, up a 90-degree wall, but it's, like, it's just way too hard to uh, get to that point. But everything else... Uh, it's doable. This bike has so much more potential than the King Crab and the Alpaca, in my opinion. However, I think this bike is the most frustrating bike I have played with yet on Rising. It's like a combination between the Alpaca and the King Crab. It has very good front wheel drive. Uh, that big wheel can really power you through a bunch of stuff, but the back wheel, it, it just hangs off the back and it just flops around everywhere and it's so hard to control. It's very, very hard to control. And it can still bunny hop, but again, you have to take in consideration just what your back wheel is doing and, and keeping a check on it because it will just flop around and you won't get any power when you jump. The strongest aspect of the Tevatron is the climbing capabilities of it. I think this bike is even better than the king crab at doing climbs like at inverted stuff so there is a skill game that matland created an adjustable climb where you can make it as inverted as you want i believe the tevatron was able to succeed at doing an inverted climb by i think it was like a couple more degrees more than the king crab was able to do and to talk about this track for a second with the tevatron so this one wasn't allowed actually on uh, the world map but it is doable uh, a couple of these tracks are not allowed but uh, this one I don't think this one was allowed because of these last two checkpoints so the collisions on this track were, were terrible so on this final climb here you see these poles sticking out so they actually bump into you because this bike is so wide I would have thought that these would be decoration only I'm very surprised that they're not and this was why this checkpoint was extremely hard I thought this was impossible for a while I had to go through this I think three or four times because of this last checkpoint we stuck with it though took it into multiplayer I always like to take uh, you know weird bikes into into multiplayer sessions and uh, and try out like the ninja tracks in particular are always great Seeing the limitations of these bikes and pushing past them as far as you can is really fun to do. I think it gives a lot more replayability to the game itself, and uh, it's just a fun challenge. I wouldn't say that this bike is anything about, uh, you know, getting records, but it's just a, it's a fun, goofy bike to push yourself and, and play extreme tracks and maybe even do some ninjas with them. Especially the climb tracks with ninjas, it can probably do very well with it. I don't have too much else to talk about other than just saying that this took me quite a long time to get these runs. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more stuff like this, and let me know what you think about this bike. Are you going to grab it now that you've seen me do these extremes? Are you going to wait on it? Hell no, you're never going to grab it. Just, uh, yeah, give me a heads up. If you guys would like to see me do more stuff live, you can always check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash donut3000, where I play goofy bikes and a lot of ninjas. That's going to be it for me on the commentary. I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of this video, and hopefully I will see you in the next one or the stream.